Welcome to our channel. Today, we are commemorating the departure of Black Americans from Nova Scotia to West Africa. Two hundred and thirty years ago, on this day, January fifteenth, in seventeen ninety two, the life changing journey began from Halifax, Nova Scotia to West Africa. Some of the black Americans in Birchtown, Nova Scotia, recorded their names, ages, and families on the passenger lists for the journey to West Africa. On January 15, 1792, the single largest fleet of African Americans in the Back to Africa movement left Halifax, Nova Scotia for West Africa. Between February 28th and March 9th in 1792, approximately 1,196 black Americans arrived safely on the western coast of Africa. The black Americans who went to Sierra Leone were known as the Nova Scotians. On March 11, 1792, the Nova Scotians gathered at this cotton tree to pray. This cotton tree still stands today at the same location, over 230 years old. On that day, March 11, 1792, the colony of Sierra Leone was founded. The Nova Scotians were also known as the Settlers, and they were one of the most influential groups forming the Creole people of Freetown. The areas where the Nova Scotians lived was called Settler Town. That area included Wilberforce Street, Little East Street, which is now called Malama Thomas Street, Rawdon Street, and Howe Street. The Nova Scotians were Christians, and they established several churches in Freetown. There's College Chapel Methodist Church, formerly known as Rodden Street Methodist Church. This church was built by the Nova Scotians. There's Zion Methodist Church on Wilberforce Street. This church was also built by the Nova Scotians. The genesis of this church goes back to 1792. Here's Rev. John Richard Frederick, an Antiguan AME minister for over 30 years in West Africa, including at Zion Methodist Church. Rev. Frederick was involved in the transfer of the Zion Methodist Church to the AME. He got to West Africa in 1886 or 1887 and died in Freetown on July 12, 1917. 
is Ebenezer Methodist Church on Circular Road. This church was established by the Nova Scotians and their descendants in 1835. The Nova Scotians contributed to the architectural style of boardhouses, known in Freetown as Bordeaux. The Nova Scotians contributed to the Creole language spoken in Sierra Leone. You can watch our videos if you are interested in learning Creole phrases. They also contributed to the Creole dress. We did a video showing different print styles, including Cavaslot, which is a long print dress with long sleeves and beautiful designs. The settlers also had many prominent descendants in Freetown society. Esther Campbell, William Rosanillo, Henrietta Solomon, Joseph Elliott, A. E. Laverse. Thomas Dupini Lee, Arthur Porter, and John Smythe. Thank you for watching.